So I'm sitting here at the uh, interpretive centre and the facilities centre before I go and walk the uh, Hellfire Pass trail. So I hope you'll enjoy this video and uh, I'll get into it in a minute. I'm just having a little bit of a rest after the bike ride. Really beautiful bike ride up into the mountains here today. Uh, it took me about uh, an hour, I guess, from Kantanaburi. It was cold, I had to buy a jumper. So anyway, um, I'll just have a drink and a bit of a rest and then off I'll go and do the, uh, the uh, Hellfire Pass walk. Okay, so I'm about to head off on the uh, Hellfire Pass. As you can see here, the Australian government has spent our taxpayer dollars pretty well in uh, building these really beautiful facilities here. Uh, the interpretive centre is not open at the moment, so probably because of COVID. But anyway, here we go. I'm about to go and walk Hellfire Pass. And as you can see, pretty amazing place. Really beautiful up here. Really beautiful. Anyway, let's get down and uh, walk the pass. Beautiful gardens. All this stone probably was what was taken out of uh, Hellfire Pass. I can't imagine how hot it would be up here in the daytime when these poor buggers were working up here. It would have been incredible. I mean, it's warm today and this is the coldest day I've ever experienced in uh, Thailand. But it's, uh, you get in the sun in here, it's super hot. You don't get any breeze super super hot you know and it's jungle real jungle now, as I was saying before I just had to run back up to the bike I'd only come about 50 meters I had to run back up to the bike to get some mosquito repellent because they're just ferocious here but I tell you my legs are screaming and I'm buggered already I can't imagine what it was like for these men here that died here building this thing. They must have been supermen. And some really good work here. Look at this. Look at this. Absolutely amazing. Amazing stuff. The walkways are just fantastic. Our government spent a lot of money here as well they should. So, I'm going to be buggered by the end of the day. I've seen some people just coming back from the walk up the top. <laughs> they didn't really look all bright-eyed and bushy-tailed. sleepers, old rail sleepers from the actual first build of the Hellfire Pass.
cut by hand. This whole cutting cut out by hand. Still a bit of rail there. Absolutely phenomenal. Let's have a look here. Folks, but uh, I have tears. What super men these were. Massive loss to the world, these human beings.
far along the edge of the mountain. It's closed at the moment for the safety of public while they do some rock scaling and prevention of uh, landslide, I guess. It's a walk back up and I think I've only done about half or a quarter of the Hellfire Pass. Pretty hot, I'm pretty worn out and uh, anyone that wants to come here, it's about an hour, hour and a half out of uh, Kanchanaburi, depending on how you drive. And I would suggest that you bring uh, water on the walk with you, a good pair of walking shoes, and mosquito repellent. Because the mozzies are absolutely fierce here. So yeah, and uh, get plenty of rest the night before, because it's a bit of a walk. Coming back up these stairs, my legs are screaming. Okay, I'm going to stop and concentrate on the walk back up now. <laughs> 